So having just seen how uh, effective getting rid of one Junk Arm was in the Typhlosion deck, and that deck does need Junk Arms because of the rare candies, uh, I've decided to take two Junk Arms out of Zekrom just because I noticed that having that extra supporter did really help out with the Reshi Ram deck, and this deck doesn't really need uh, Junk Arm as much because it doesn't need rare candies. Um, as we saw in the last game, in the last video though, um, the benefit of the Reshiram deck is the fact that they have Poka Bodies and Poka Powers, whereas this deck has a lot of abilities. So I'm kind of curious as to like if I'm gonna actually be able to get this um, this goal of knocking out 16 Pokemon faster or slower. We did see it took me a while to do it for the fire types but i do like this deck a lot more i feel it like synergizes more I like i the uh the water in here is actually a keldeo which helps me like go in and retreat i didn't really need that for the rushing room deck because you can afterburner onto it the thing that's difficult about this is typhlosion is a really good attacker you saw that against the mewtwo deck this one your attacker is Zekrom. So this one actually does require the Super Rod a little bit more. Um, you're actually going to see me do something interesting. So I do run the Free Retreat Dynamo, and hopefully you guys will see why in a second. Um, But the main idea of running the Free Retreat Dynamo is being able to just quickly go into a Zekrom, quickly go into a Thunderous, which I'm actually going to be able to do right now. Sweet. So, yeah, it's a little bit scary. We're facing now this Mewtwo. Unlike Reshiram, Typhlosion really does need those... Um, or, <laughs> unlike Reshiram, Zekrom really needs those energies on them. So what I'm going to do here is I actually do run Thunderous because I want to get those energies out as soon as possible. So let's get this going. That way we can get our Elytrix out faster. Um, I'm really tempted to use this Float Stone. I don't, mm, no, I don't want to waste it before I get a Keldeo out. So let's go in here. All right. So we did manage to get a lightning energy here. Um, no. Ooh. Oh, that was painful. I thought I had already retreated. Um, ugh, that is not good. That is a scoopable moment. I'm so frustrated with myself. I was like so busy in the conversation that I didn't even think right now. All right, so let's see what we got here. So I'm definitely losing a turn. I'm losing an energy, which is even worse than losing a turn. So I'm just in a bad spot here. And he's going to be able to use my collector. <laughs> and I can't even use my collector, which just kind of rubs salt in the wound here. Um, yeah. Oh, that's bad. I don't know what he's waiting for. He just clicks the collector, and I believe I'm, I shouldn't be focusing so much on this miracle right now. Um, I mean, he can choose to not do it. Oh, it looks like he's going to try. I know the deck I've seen it a few times. They're able to. Okay, there we go. So he's running Blastoise. So he's going to attach a lot of energies to be able to draw cards here. Okay. So now I should be able to do what I wanted to do here. And I'm going to end him. Don't know if this is going to be good for me, bad for me. Uh, we'll see. I, I still can't believe I wasted that energy. Great start to trying to complete this task. All right. 
So I'm going to evolve the one with the energy. And the reason for this is I'm going to eventually at some point in time try to retreat and get that energy into the discard pile. All right, so let's go here. We're going to start getting this energy out. Start drawing more energy out of the deck with charge. So this does provide the deck with another attacker. It also lets you get that energy out. So let's say he comes at me with the Mewtwo. It'll discard it. And then I'll be able to start uh, using uh, that Dynamotor in order to start getting those energies onto the Zekroms. So this is a tough matchup, like I said, because Zekrom keeps the energies on him. It does have the potential for Outrage, but against a Mewtwo like we're fighting against right now, that Outrage isn't going to be very useful for us. And I don't have a supporter, dude. I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully you have another Floatstone or a Switch in your hand. Because I do believe you've already attached for the turn. And he doesn't. Alright, so we're going to be able to get a KO here. Yeah, ironically enough, this actually does discard an energy. So we are going to be able to start filling up some of these energy requirements here. Alright, so... Off to a rocky start, but I think we're good. Hopefully I have another end here. I do. Just start getting some more of these um, Elatrix out. That's fine, dude. I don't mind that you're getting another hand. I need to focus on doing what I do best, which is knocking these guys out. Get another energy in there. All right, so the Mewtwo, 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. It's going to be able to knock out my Thunderous, assuming that he gets the DCE or... Oh, he's going to be able to get the Blastoise out right now. So I don't know. Oh, he's running the Washout Blastoise. Interesting. That's the one that brings the energy to him when he's active. As often as he's like, you can remove a water energy to one of your bench... Pokemon to your active Pokemon. Okay, so you're just moving the energies. So I think what this deck does is it looks like it runs both Blastoise. One of the Blastoise to be able to attach the energy and keep drawing cards. The other one to move that energy from the shuffle over. So eventually what I'm probably going to end up doing is if that shuckle has way too much energy, I might end up uh, interesting. Okay, what does his washout attack do again? So return to water energy from Blastoise, choose one of your Pokemon. Okay, so he's going to start sniping my eels, it looks like. But I believe he's weak to lightning. So interesting. He is weak to lightning. So he did get rid of one of my eels, but he's also going to lose his attacker right now. Oh, I don't know if I should play this yet. Let's not for now. I can always retreat and like do some Dynamotor stuff later. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. I don't want to do that yet. I do kind of want to wait till there's another guy in there. So I'm just going to collect her for another Tynamo. Keep these two Keldeos in my hand. All right, that's Disaster Volt. So I'm getting rid of two of his energies, but since he's running the Execute, I'm assuming... He runs like superior energy retrieval, so that's not going to be too much of a problem. Let's see what we're doing here. All right, so he's deluging onto the Keldeo. He needs one more energy to be able to knock out my Thunderous here. So let's see what happens. Got the Deluge, so he is definitely going to rush in, knock me out. 
I am in turn not going to focus on this yet. I do have a Zekrom, so I do have another attacker. He's definitely going to get knocked out next turn, but I do want to put a Keldeo here. I am going to... What am I doing here? Uh, I don't really need the secondary attacker as much anymore. I don't really want... You know what? I don't need the Juniper right now. So I don't need you and I don't need you. The moment. Who knows? I might regret that decision later. So what I'm trying to do here is kind of just get ready to set up to attack or retreat, whichever one I need. Um, I'm mainly just going to focus on getting this Zekrom powered up. We'll do a knockout if we need to next turn. Hopefully I draw into a float stone. If not, I hope I don't regret not doing that Juniper too much. Because worst case, what can happen is I draw into an energy after he knocks this guy out, and then I can just snipe him on the bench. All right, so it looks like he's going to either grab an Ultra Ball, he can do his pure energy. Oh, he's Junk Army here. That Execute is really broken, so he's Junk Army for the Superior Energy, so he'll be able to get the Executes back and do this. This is definitely not a deck I recommend if there's tournaments. I mean, there's no Legacy tournaments, but the way Pokemon has it online, the fact that um, you have so little time during a tournament on the online, between his junk army, grabbing his superior energy back and all of this. He's wasting so much time for so little. So let's see what's going on here. I don't think I have to really worry about Catcher because of just how many cards he has to run. He has to run the Shuckle. He has to run the superior energy. Then again, he can run like two of these because of the junk arms. He probably runs four junk arms. All right, he's running the smear goal. He put the smear goal back in the deck. All right, so let's see what we're doing here. Now he's going to get that energy back. You can see how he's starting to spend a lot of time here. Because keep in mind, at the beginning, he wasn't doing much. I was doing a lot. So he's very, very far beneath time now, considering that he didn't do much at the beginning. All right, so where we're candying into the washout, so he's going to be able to move this energy here onto the Keldeo to get the knockout. But at the same time, I already have this guy ready to do some KOing. Ooh, we're going to do a no return. So he's returning the energy. He's going to try. I'm assuming he has a max potion or something there that he's trying to get. Max Potion, or I imagine a Super Scoop Up. Because with the Super Scoop Up, what he can do is he can pick this guy up, or he can also pick up the return in case he needs to return next turn. Alright, so he's washing out. Are you just getting the energy? He definitely didn't get a Max Potion here. Retreating. Alright, interesting. Touching energy, so he's definitely just gonna knock me out here, which is fine. I was expecting as much. So now's a good time for me to play my right cow. I'm gonna definitely do the right cow, gonna float stone here. I am going to start dynamoting onto this right cow. I do want that Electric down. I don't know if I want the Tynamo back. Yeah, I'll get the Tynamo back. You never know. If he knocks out one of these Tynamos, I'm just SOL. All right, so we got that going. Let's do this. So basically right now, he's going to have to figure out a way 
to heal these guys. I don't know if he runs the max push. Again, his deck has a lot of synergy, but because it's Pokemon, we have 60 cards in the deck, there's not a whole lot we can can do to recover. He has a lot of damage here. He's up by one prize, but that can easily just go the other way. So let's see what we're doing. The beauty too is if I choose to, I can just knock out whatever's in front of me with the Zacrom, because he's definitely going to knock out this Zacrom, whether it's through Keldeo, whether it's through Mewtwo. I don't know which at the moment. Um, but if he doesn't have a way to heal, which I should have been paying more attention to his discard pile, um, I already have four prizes on the field. He can get the three prizes, um, but my main goal is going to be to just knock out whatever's in front of me with the Zekrom and just have that Raikou ready to snipe. Um, ooh, that is not good. So I definitely need to draw an energy next turn. So a lot of my efficiency kind of got set back right now. Um, because I need an energy or a way to get energy because I'm going to promote the Raikou retreat. Okay, he does have a scoop up Cyclone, so that is not good for me. Why are you spending so much time? You could have just scoop up and then diluge later. Oh, I see. You're busy drawing cards. Okay. Very well. I'm trying to think. Is there an unknown card in which he can just win? Unknown Hand, I think, came later on. So I don't know if Unknown Hand... But no, he has too much cards in the discard pile. What are we doing? Okay. This is an interesting deck. I definitely helped him get there by um, doing the ends early game. Um, what's your strategy here? I imagine he's going to end me right now, which will kind of help me out to get those cards back into his deck. So let's see here. Yep. So he's left with three cards in his hand. Oh, but he can wash out. I was like, wait, what about the energy? But yeah, he can definitely wash out here. Oh, and I grew into a float stone. Nice. All right, so he does have a lot of damage that he can do to me right now. I'm really regretting not running a catcher of my own. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so he's moving energy around. All right, interesting. All right, so you got the secret sword. I'm in a tough spot because I don't have the Zekrom like I would have liked. Oh, speak of the devil. All right. And da -da -da. I know I have level balls in there. Uh, no, the play is definitely to attach the energy and Juniper here. All right, we got this guy. Now, what's the move going to be? I think I just hit what's in front of me. Sniping's not really going to help right now. Sniping won't help at all, to be honest. Yeah, this guy played it very, very well. I never even got, well, I got one KO. I'm thinking if I want to do another KO right now. So let's get this straight. Two, four. How much damage can he do here? I know he can do a lot. 20. So 60. So he can do 120. 
this dynamotor right now to kind of stop the clock. We'll do 120 plus the 50. So he can do 170. So he can knock out the Raikou in one hit. So I definitely don't want that to happen. I'm trying to see. I don't think there's a way out of this for me at the moment. There is one way out. Actually, there isn't because he can rush in. I was like, I can paralyze him, but that's not going to help me at all right now. Two, 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 one knockout. Well, our goal is to get a knockout, so I do want to get that knockout before. So, yeah, that was a really good play. And he's just going to retreat. I just want to get my knockouts. All right, so we have two knockouts. That was an interesting deck. I've never played that before. So I'll let him get his KO. All right. Yep, he set that up really good. I didn't think about using the A-spec to scoop up Cyclone. That gets rid of the risk, especially with the jump arms and the executes. That was really good. Let's see what we got here. Do I have any trades that are going? Let's see here. I might have some request or something. Ah, trying to just move this. Would one dark event be okay for a dual ball? Send. I'm sorry, I'm like totally training while I'm supposed to be doing this. Send. Because I opened so many triumphant packs, um, I do have a lot of dual balls and stuff like that. And I'm just trying to make my decks look pretty. That's how I got the full art uh, Thunder Sis. I actually got them today. Um, I just really hated running the regular art uh, Thunder Sis. And I was just like, let me drop some packs to full art those and I actually thought I would have to look them up but I think I just offered like a few packs for them and I got them. I definitely think that one pack's undervalued but I mean it is what it is. I feel the market's changed a lot. I used to trade a lot more um than I do now. So market's definitely changed a lot. I should have totally played the Tynamo. These are terrible starts for me guys. I don't know what's going on. Let's just put in energy and hope for the best. I mean I don't think it would have made too big of a difference here. Oof. This guy's starting off strong. I was going to collect their next turn, but if he's going to start hitting me for that hard, I definitely want to do an Outrage back. I don't want to give him any more cards than he has if he's already trying to attack me that hard, so I'm definitely going to Juniper here. So even with one, oh, these misclick guys, I don't know, I don't know, 
Something about misclicking. <laughs> Something about misclicking. I mean, if he doesn't draw another... Oh, never mind. I was like, if he doesn't draw another Deoxys, I can just uh, outrage him to death. That should have been a Deoxys. You have something else? Why is it 90 now? I don't know why it's ni why it became 90. Um, all right, so I'm definitely going to start thinking about what to do here. Let's get this. I think I'm just gonna outrage. Oh, jeez. All of these nice click guys that, like, I could have totally bolt struck right now and been in a good spot, but nope. I decide to attach to this. To be fair, I thought it would didn't register my initial hit, so let's see what we're going to do here. I can definitely junk arm. I don't need the thunderous this game oof i'm off my game today guys uh plasma that was fun i like the plasma deck it was really interesting Ooh, this is a tough spot he is totally gonna start sniping my tynamos it's the downside to running the free retreat He's probably considering it right now. He's like, I can just retreat this and get a knockout. And he should. He really should. Juniper. Okay, interesting. So, ba -ba -ba. I forgot. Did he play? He played that earlier. So, I mean, he can easily draw another one. Because he has the two waters. So, all he needs is another Colrus machine. Are you trying to go for the sleep? I think he's trying to go for the sleep. All right, so I'm definitely going to just um, free retreat out of this situation and then just outrage for the knockout. Um, I was almost debating on... Um, no, definitely not. Let's get this level bug going. It sucks because this KO should have happened like last turn. I should hopefully be able to evolve both of these guys before I have to deal with the consequences of that. And I'm hoping I get to evolve both my Tynamos. I think he should have gone for the KO in all honesty. Just because I can do that. And even with these two jump arms, I put those two jump arms to good use. So getting rid of them, I don't think was too bad of a call for me. All right. Now we have a game, guys. We have a game. I was debating on just attacking with the Thunderous, but the problem with that is, if I do that, he can just snipe me with the Kyurem. So I definitely don't want to do that, especially because there is still a risk of him capturing out this guy and sniping me dead anyway. So I definitely don't want to do that. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Interesting. I'm imagining he has a float stone. When I played this deck, it had a float stone. I mean, go ahead, man. Have at it. That's why I run four. I probably could run less than that and then just be able to use another junk arm, but I don't know. I get really scared of not having float stones. And I probably should, just in case I do play against a Vileplume deck. They do exist. 
Interesting. I'm trying to see. What, um, all right. This does 120, 130. I can't die the snipe damage, so I'm definitely going to promote this guy. He's still going to be able to knock me out with the snipe. Oh, see, there's the catcher I was talking about. I think he was hoping that I didn't know what my choices were. Because he should have just played the catcher. Now he just wasted an escape rope. We're going to frost spear. That's fine. Not too much damage here. I forget. These guys are just basically plus powers. I thought they did more damage than that. Right, so let me just get this guy ready. For an attack. And I'm not going to attack because, actually, should I? I'm thinking about it. Because he can knock me out guaranteed. Well, he can knock me out guaranteed next turn either way. So, no, definitely not doing that. I'm going to make him earn the KO. I'm so glad I didn't misclick on that one. That would have been bad. I remember when Emerging Powers came out, it was like, yeah, you got, you were able to run this guy, and it was like, run this guy. So, the, having a Zekrom there, ooh, how many tool scrappers does this guy have? Jeez. Hopefully not too many, because now I'm, like, going to be short of Flipstone. All right. I definitely think he was not prepared for me to attack with the Thunderous here. Uh, interesting. I, I would have thought he would have just killed me. But it doesn't look like he wants to do that. Did you get a catcher with that, I'm assuming? Uh, he spent his energy attached per turn, which I think is interesting. Okay, so bicycling here. I guess he, no, that doesn't make any sense. I would have saved the energy attachment for the other guy. What are you doing? I, I don't like Catcher. I'm sorry. It was really powerful when it was first printed out. And then afterwards, this wasn't good. I'm going to adjust my screen here. Wonder, oh, I can actually, well, that wouldn't help. Why do you give me a diagonal option? <laughs> Very cool. So he's giving me more outrage power. I honestly would have started attacking Tynamos there, but I mean, I ain't him. So I ain't going to judge. Uh, the Elytrix, I feel, would have been a much better play. So, and you know what? Just because he keeps getting rid of my float stones, I'm going to set this guy up here. So it's like, I got a solution for that too. Boom. All right, let's see what's going on here. I do like the fact that we're, I'm fighting against this deck because it just show it's giving giving me those knockouts. So I already have two. So this might be like a half video. I might have another video out later today, depending on what the goal is. Hopefully it's another lightning one. That way I can double up just like I did the fire videos. All right, let's see what's going on here. I'm like looking at the time and like, I haven't had breakfast yet. All right, so there should be three energies in there. I'm hoping to honestly get another Tornado. So I'm going to put those Zekroms back in the deck. 
along with one of those thunderouses. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't think I need the end yet. Cool. All right, so what I'm going to do here is, let's see, three, six, eight, ten, three, three, four, five, six. If I bolt strike, six plus seventy, it's really close for comfort, but I think it's the best move right now. So yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. Look, I do have the ability to snipe in case I need it. And I did put the float stone on just because I don't want to waste those lightning energies if I don't have to. Dynamoldering is a resource that you don't really want to spend too much of. Alright, uh, do I want to do that? Yeah, I do. I'm going to attack with this guy. There's no difference mathematically in me either bolt striking or um, disaster voting here because either way I would have to do it again. So this guy, so 30, 6, 30, 40, 50. Okay, so 50. Interesting. Hey, I do not mind because I don't think he can one shot my Raikou. So the more damage I do to these guys, the better. I do have various ways to get that one Raikou out. So the fact that it's not prized is very good for me. Oh, there we go. We have the collector and they gave me a Raikou. Anyways, so that's one of the downsides to that rainbow energy you saw. Now he's well in KO range here. So I'm just going to rush in. And I can't really rush into the Zekrom just because he can snipe me. So I'm definitely going to go here. And he's going to have to be lucky with his catchers if he wants to do anything there. What I should have done, actually, was Dino motored one of my energies on there. I don't want to get rid of too many energies here. But... I just kind of want to get this gold done and over with. Alright, so let's see what we got here. That was Vecrom ready to knock that Kiram out when he promotes it. This is one of the reasons why I don't play the Raikou, like just slam that Raikou down is I do like running this as if it was like the Reshiram deck with no EXs. Um, but you do need to have a right count just to be able to have a second attacker. So what I'm going to do here is I'm definitely going to, I'm just going to attack with the other Zekrom, to be honest. I'm actually surprised, um, He's running rainbows because honestly the blend energy I think is better for the deck, but it looks like he does like attacking with his Deoxys, which I think is weird. I wouldn't be doing it that way, but hey, he's not me. Like I want to say even Thunderous is, no, his attack sucks. <laughs> Um, but he really should be attacking with that Thunderous a lot more to be setting up. I feel like he kind of went all in with attacking with this, um, with his Deoxys, and I don't think that's a good move here for him. Um, I'm just going to end the game next turn. There's no point in dragging this out. Oh, and I kind of have to because of how he attacked. So... It was a well-played game. Hopefully he doesn't scoop on me. And he did. <laughs> so that's another reason why these dailies are kind of hard to do. 
All right, so we're at three, and then that one made it to three more. So let's at least get to eight before I end the video for today. All right, I got a balloon, guys. Got a balloon. How many days do I have left on this ladder? Fifteen to get. I'm basically at 700, so I need like 1,300 more. So 100 a day. I'm doing pretty good with my rewards. Oh, let me accept this guy's trade offer here. Maybe I don't have the extra ones available for trade. Are you there? You will have to mark for trade. I don't see them in your binder. All right, so let's kind of go, oh, not trade. Oh, well, I guess I can do it from here too. Lazy way of marking for trade, I guess. Trainers, go to dual ball. Do, do, do. I'm just telling him that it's going to be after the trade expires. All right, cool. So that yeah, felt I did that. Oh, well, whatever. Um, yeah, I don't, how, I've, would you guys see how many, like, dual balls I have here? I'm just trying to get modern stuff. I do occasionally still buy, I'm still buying Call of Legends packs, but I do really want that uh, other Smeargle. And there's a lot of staples in Call of Legends, plus the energies are nice. Alright, so let's get going here. The terrible mulligan. All right. They just want my two knockouts from this. All right. Hopefully, he is not playing Latios. Debated making the Ladius deck. Ooh, that's rough. Um, please, yes. <laughs> so, like, please portrait me. <laughs> that's one of the reasons why I like running the 4N instead of the 4 pawn is just for moments like this. All right, you have a switch. Please don't end me again. <laughs> Ooh, you're getting another Celebi? Or, oh, you know what? He's probably getting another Smeargle. Because I don't see a reason to get... Oh, okay, you're Stellar Wishing right now. Or, you're going to Stellar Wish at some point in time? Alright, so let's get going. Gotta make sure not to misclick this game. Let's see what we got here. Do, 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 do. Definitely need one of these guys. I mean, I know I already have one of them. I probably should have gotten the Keldeo now that I think about it. But, hey, gotta do this. I also don't want to make it like obvious that I have the Keldeo. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Let's see here. Because he is going to portrait me because you run Smeargle to portrait. 
That's what Smeargle does. All right. It's just a shame that I'm not going to be able to keep that level ball if you portraits. All right, so he's pawn I don't know why he played the level ball that time. I mean, he didn't, I don't think he played a supporter. Yeah, he didn't play a supporter, so I don't know why he level balled. He already had two Celebes on the field. So, that's just weird. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Awesome. I don't like troll spam or emoji spamming, so I'm not gonna do that to him because I'm sure he's already like great. <laughs> and it didn't even. Well, all right. So we don't get your data sect out. Unfortunately, that's what happened. I don't like running the Jirachi in that deck. Um, probably because I don't. I honestly don't run the. I don't run the whatchamacallit. Um, I don't run level balls. Uh, I run dual balls in my Genesec deck. So unfortunately, because he decided to scoop, we're going to have to go into this. But you can see how good that Thunderous is. It already got me the energy. Um, I'm really happy that I play a lot of N in Legacy. Um, this guy probably did the trades or messaged me or something. Let's see what's going on here. Hmm. I really wish Pokemon would let me, okay, do stuff while it's loading for a game. I know it's not supposed to take that long, but when you're loading for Legacy, it does. And it's a shame too, because it would ruin the experience. But there's a few times I'm in a tournament and I'm like, I totally could have played like two games in the amount of time I'm waiting for this round to end. <laughs> but unfortunately the way this game's programmed, it is so intense. I know with Magic, I like having multiple clients open and just being able to play multiple games. Uh, obviously, you have to do a simple deck. Otherwise, you're going to get a headache with magic. All right, let's see what we got here. We got this Tynamo. Tynamo. All right. Come on. Come on. Uh, I'm playing with someone that's not there. That's why the coin flip took forever. Although, are they there? I feel that was very short. But then again, if the timer already started running. Well, I'm trying, guys. I really am. Okay, cool. Person there. Yay. All right. Let's get this going. Let's see if I can get a collector here. Actually, I just realized I don't want a collector with this hand. Uh, let's go here. I want to try to get... And energy, otherwise I won't be able to attack. Awesome. Let's get this going. I remember when I first made my Zekiel's deck, I didn't have a Thunderous. This was like way back in like 2011 when I didn't know how to play the game so much. I definitely regret that now because this, I mean, just look at how good he is. Um, he is going to get me, he's not going to get me another knockout because I'm imagining he's going to evolve that EV right now. He won't be able to do signals of evolution, but he also won't die. Not dying's good. I don't think I need to play the collector next turn. I think I'm just gonna end here. Um, admittedly, collector isn't the best right now. Okay. Oh, he has the DC. Interesting. 
All right, maybe I do want a collector. Yeah, let's just collect her and get this Zekrom and Keldeo and a sure another Tynamo just for fun. Not really for fun. We do need the three Tynamos. So let's keep it going here. Let's get that there. Here. Uh, and I need to start dynamotoring. I need to do it now. Luckily, since I run the free retreat dynamo, I can promote one of them and get the final energies this Zekrom needs to get going. So let's the Vaster vote here. So next turn, definitely going to promote the free retreat dynamo um, because I'm just going to assume I'm not going to get the float stone. I should get the float stone, but I'm probably not. Uh, I can even just outrage this um, Umbreon here. Uh, let's see what's happening. Because I want to get the knockout, I'm definitely going to end him. I have no problem with it. But you need to draw your prize. Please draw your prize. I'm going to end you. You're going to have a hand, I promise. Oh, well, it's good to know that I did draw into that. I like to put a little happy face to let her know. <laughs> Um, I could do other stuff right now, but I'm just going to be happy with just getting these Tynamos out. Tynamos. Elatrix out. I should run like a baby. Just to be able to do other stuff. Again, I just want to make sure this person has the game. Oh, now you're just being mean. The more Pokemon this person has out, the more turns they play, the more I'm going to be able to get these KOs. And the shorter the next video will be. I don't know what deck this person's running. Quad Umbreon or something? I don't know. But... I do want to be able to play my other things. That was really mean. I'm just surprised how mean that play was. It was a good move. Definitely a good move. I mean, I'm going to jump arm and get it back, but it doesn't change the fact that my feelings are hurt. <laughs> All right, so Zekrom's dead. <laughs> oh, I see. I think they stack for each team plasma in play. Okay, so that's what's happening. They're running a plasma deck, so they're just pumping up the thing. All right, so in play, uh, they have 120, so I'm not going to be too nice to this guy. I'm gonna get my float stone back. Big me. And hopefully I get all six prizes from this because it looks like he's not running any exes. I keep saying he, I need to stop assuming genders here. Especially since the avatar looks female. Alright, let's get going. Boom. I should have totally dynamoter the Keldeo, but. I think I'm in a good spot. Yeah, the Tynamo is definitely going to go in the discard pile. Either from the Comp Search or the Ultra Ball. 
Is this something I'm do? I haven't seen this card in a while. Ooh, Confuse Ray. That's interesting. I mean, I'm just gonna retreat out of the confusion anyway. But hey. It's still interesting. I'm just gonna have this guy with energy here just cause. I'm actually kind of tempted to just computer search for an energy and discard because I don't have a lot to do right now. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to computer search for an energy and then just juniper my hand because I'm in a really good spot. So Thunderous is ready to attack next turn. He's probably going to knock out the Zekrom. So that's a good spot. Because I imagine he can at least do 30. Oh, I hope he can do 30 damage next turn. I imagine, yeah, if that's Scraggy, the other one's what? Scrafty? This guy's Scraggy, the other one's Scrafty. All right, um, looks like I'm going to Outrage next turn. Yep, I'm going to Outrage you next turn. I'll put that energy on you, Keldeo, just in case this person tool scrappers me again. Um, How many do I have? I believe a six. If I get another six right now. Um, so if I get the other six... Put me at 12. I don't think I'm going to knock this guy out. If he doesn't have anything, then I'm just going to either like retreat into Keldeo or something. Something random. Oh, he's raging me. Um, again, my goal is to get the stuff. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to pass. Probably going to confuse her a little bit. But I'm hoping she just doesn't scoop. <laughs> uh, Alright, so raging. That's cool. I'm going to give her a new hand. I hope she realizes that I am trying to do a daily here so she doesn't just... Ooh, but her hand's so... It's going to be so small. Well, I mean, her hand's already, what was that, five cards? So who knows? Maybe this does help her out. Play another Pokemon. Yes! All right. I have a feeling she's going to go for the T-Tar, though, which is going to make me sad. Or maybe yeah, she's going for the T-Tar. Why you do that? Ooh. Hyper Beam, discarding an energy card attached to the defending Pokemon. That's mean. I mean, I'm not gonna not attack her. Um, the only reason why I didn't attack was because I need to get those KOs. So now that I'm in a vulnerable spot, I definitely need to attack. I'm not vulnerable, I'm just... I need to be able to keep the upper hand. Okay, perfect. Sweet. Because they can't hyper beam again. Oh, they can. Oh, jeez. Alright. Let's rush in. Get my energy cards back. 
The Bolt Strike is definitely going to be in the future here. I need those KOs. All right. So we've stalled long enough. I just need the six prizes. So let her do the attack. Silver Mirror. I mean, that doesn't do a whole lot now. I'll do the well played now. Yeah, there's no reason in holding on anymore. Sweet. Got six more. So hopefully the daily challenge will be lightning types and we'll get this done. All right. Cool. Sorry for the boring video, guys. I was even starting to wear out, but I haven't eaten breakfast yet. And it's like 1223 right now. And I've been up for a while. So see you guys later.